Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Recently, Coolance released their new and extreme series of CPU water blocks. So today we're going to check out the top flagship model, the CPU 350. Let's have a look and see exactly what accessories you get with the CPU 350. Here's the CPU 350 with the acrylic cap a universal rear mounting plate, two top mounting brackets depending on your socket type, CPU thermal paste, a comprehensive instruction manual, four threaded posts, four tension springs and tension nuts, an assortment of silicon backing plates again for your socket application as well as aluminum and copper sensor thermal tape. The CPU 350 is tapped and threaded for G quarter threaded nozzles. This makes it ideal for 10 or 13 mm coolant hoses. The water block cold plate is manufactured from high density copper that's nickel plated for corrosion resistance as well as has a slight curvature across the base of the cold plate for better fitment to the CPU. The CPU 350 is a directional low profile high performance water block. With this in mind ensure you correct the right hoses to the inlet and outlet to ensure you have the correct pressure and flow through this CPU water block. Let's have a look and compare the flow difference between the CPU 345 and the CPU 350. With the CPU 345 the coolant comes in through the inlet into the middle of the water block where it travels across the triangular pins and exits through the outlet chamber. With the CPU 350 the coolant flows through the inlet, forced down through the middle of the impingement plate across the pins and channels where it flows back through the four collection chambers to the CPU water block outlet. Let's have a closer look at the CPU 350 cold plate. The cold plate itself is manufactured from high density copper, precision machined and nickel plated for high corrosion resistance. The middle of the water block cold plate contains more than 750 heat dissipating pins or columns. Upon assembly is crucial you line up the hole on the cold plate and the impingement plate. Correct alignment of the impingement plate is needed to ensure you have the correct fluid flow across the pins through the channels and back up through the water block. With the CPU 350 mounted on the X58 motherboard let's run a couple of performance benchmarks on the CPU and check out the cooling potential of the CPU 350 itself. Today we're going to run the Cinebench R10 benchmark, we're going to run it in 10 continuous loops and log those temperatures with Everest Ultimate software. These are fantastic temperatures on the CPU 350, 47, 48 degrees in core 1 and 2 and 43 degrees in core 3 and 4. These are absolutely phenomenal results coming off this water block. For a quick comparison, let's check out the SwiftTech GTZ and the EK Supreme, run these through exactly the same benchmarks, same conditions and see exactly what results we can get. Absolutely phenomenal temperatures coming off the CPU 350. As a comparison exercise here, the CPU 350 definitely come in top of the hill in first place with 48 degrees in core 1 and 2 and 43 and 3 and 4. EK Supreme taking second spot with core 1 at 50 degrees, core 2 at 49, core 3 and 4 at 45 degrees and the SwiftTech GTZ taking the third spot at 51 degrees in core 1 and 2 and 45 on 3 and 4. 
Coulons have obviously put a lot of time, money and research in the development of the CPU 350. The overall quality, finish and performance of the CPU water block sets it apart from the rest and definitely makes this the best CPU water block available to the water cooling enthusiast to date. For more information on the CPU 350 as well as a free performance tuning guide feel free to visit this web link or check out the coolance.com website. Once again I'd like to thank you guys who post comments and rate these videos especially my subscribers. However if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in PC and gaming hardware feel free to subscribe.